Hi, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm sitting out here in my truck. Actually, I'm waiting for FedEx to deliver some new lithium batteries. I've got uh, three 100 amp lithium batteries that should be delivered today at some time. Uh, but I have another lithium battery, an SOK battery. Actually, the batteries I've got coming in today are also SOK lithium batteries. And I had made a small little power station that I put together. I'm going to share that with you guys today and show you what I did. Uh, I put it into a plastic rolling cart so I can roll it around. I can move it out to my shed. I can move it out to the ambulance, uh, move it around in my house. If we have a power outage, I can run my refrigerator. Uh, I've got a little small ice box or freezer. We can watch TVs with it, things like that. Uh, so let's go take a look at that while we wait. And uh, maybe if we get lucky while we're videoing, FedEx will arrive with uh, my other batteries. So this is my rolling cart that I put together as a battery system. It's got this handle that pulls out. I think I got this at Home Depot. Uh, these latches latch here. And... I can lift it up and roll it around quite easily. I've got this piece of wood on top because I was originally going to mount the uh, power inverter plug up on top, but I decided to put it inside as we'll see. Let's open it up. And it's loaded with cool stuff. I've got a pure shine wave inverter here that's 1200 watts. I've got a battery disconnect, little fuse panel. I have a shunt right in here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And I've got this plug in that I built so I could plug it in for charging. It's solar charging, fuse system. And uh, the way I built this is so this can just come out. Let me grab that. And I could just sit it out like that when I'm using it. Because if we're using it, we're using it. It's not going to be moving around while I'm using it. So I could just set this out, plug stuff into this. I also, on the side, down here, I have plugs I put in. Got three cigarette, three cigarette lighter plugs and USB port plugs. I'll try to get some more light on that here in a second. This is the inverter I'm using. I don't know how you pronounce that. Gliandel, G-I-A-N-D-E-L, 1200-watt pure shine wave. And then I've got this board underneath here. I'll pull this up, and we'll take a look at the battery. Okay, I've pulled this board out. And see, this is just another board sitting on here. And down below, I've got this SOK battery. It's a lithium ion phosphate battery, 100 amp battery. And the shunt up here is hooked in to the post down here. That's onto the negative post. Then I've got a little bit of space down here. So in this space, I've put, I keep a battery charger in here that I can use to charge up the battery. If I'm not having it hooked to solar, I can just plug it in and charge it up. I also keep a little USB plug-in LED light strip. So if we do have a blackout, power out, I can immediately just go plug this in and I've got light, this can run God, for weeks, I think. 
But this is my nice little system for carrying around. Now the plan here is, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, because I've got three more of these batteries coming in today. I might take this one out and put it with the other three and, and uh, maybe possibly combine them into the ambulance to make a 400 amp system. Or I might just keep this separate and put 300 amps into the ambulance and have this separate so I can haul this around, use this out in the shed or, you know, drag it anywhere. And then what I built for this system is this little mini solar system panel. This will hook to the solar panels. This is the little controller to see what's going on, the little fuse. And this is my, I believe these are called Anderson plugs. So that would plug right into that Anderson plug there to bring the solar in. The solar panels would be hooked end up in here and then bring that power into this plug into this whole system to charge the battery and then this is the 1200 watt pure shine wave inverter I'm gonna probably have to buy at least a 2000 watt or more to put in the truck to have a little bit more power so that's another reason I might possibly keep this separate system uh, separated. Might eventually, if I keep this separate, might eventually just buy a fifth SOK battery. Uh, I've had this battery and this little system I've put together for quite a few months now. Everything's been working great. I've tested it out. We have a little 12 volt refrigerator freezer. I can run that for a couple of days on this, no problem. We can watch TV. Uh, I'm now using a mini Mac, Mac computer that uses very little power. I can run that whole system for a very long time. So anyways, I wanted to share this with you. I don't see FedEx showing up here with my other batteries yet, but I, I checked and it says it's on the truck out for delivery right now. So it will be here at some point. Take another look at this. Here's another view of it. You can see the cigarette lighter plugs in here. Actually, this one in the bottom I don't have hooked up. I've only got these three. It's two cigarette lighter plugs, and then this is the USB port. Let me try to get a better view of that. So here's the two USB ports, and then these two cigarette lighters right here actually do work. This one's not hooked up. I just, it was a three pack that I bought, so I had an extra one, so I just put it in there. Uh, I don't think I have enough stuff where I would even need that, but if I do, I can hook it up. Then all this just fits right back in here. The way I've made the wood underneath there, it fits right onto the battery on each side of the battery handle. So this basically is riding on top of it all. And then of course this fits right back into this spot. This pushes down. I could turn it off and on with the, the battery switch. And uh, let me see. Right now we're at 13.33 volts. Still got a little bit of space to put anything else down here I want. Actually, I could fit two batteries in this if I needed to, but this one battery is plenty for 100 amp lithium. And this just does have some weight to it. Oh, there's the, the brand box I'm using. It's a Husky 15 gallon Connect job site cart. Seems to be perfect for this. And then I could just drag it around, carry it anywhere I need to. Okay, that's it for today's video. A little preview of my SOK battery, battery box that I built. And I hope to be seeing my 
other three batteries coming in here shortly. Hopefully they'll be in within the next hour or so. And I might do another video on unboxing them or I just might wait till we install it all in the truck. So until I see you next time, please subscribe to our channel. We got a lot more coming up. And uh, hey, I'll see you next time. Woohoo!